immediately Fox's office did not immediately return a call seeking uh, comment. A spokeswoman for Macedo de la Concha's office said she, w she could not comment on Aceves statements, citing security concerns, but Macedo himself mentioned the CHIP program to, report to reporters Monday saying he had received an implant in his arm. He said the chips were required to enter a new federal anti-crime information center. It's only for access for security, he said. The chips also could provide more certainty about who accessed sensitive data at, at any given time. In the past, the biggest security problem for Mexican law enforcement has been corruption by officials themselves. Yo, that's all we need to read. We get we got the gist of uh, what it's all about. Okay, Let, let's go back to uh, this. Uh, let's go back to this bean bean footage. Yeah, while you while you're looking for it, um, because no, uh, no, 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 no. in that production, Nate, when he was talking about the Illuminati, let's sit on that. Let's sit on that. You can come back. He let's showed a that. yeah. He showed a picture of uh, the Bohemian Grove. He showed a picture of the forty foot stone owl, which is known as Yeah, which is known as human sacrifice. Yep, talking about human sacrifice where he mentioned about children being killed by the Illuminati, which is true. They're being sacrificed, especially at something called the cremation of care. All right, now at one time the Bohemian Grove, the cremation of care, all of that was a conspiracy theory. Now people are finding out it's a conspiracy fact. All right, because way back in 1981, there was a, an ABC News segment that was done featuring the Bohemian Grove. Now a question. What have Herbert Hoover, Art Linkletter, Jack London, and Richard Nixon all had in common? Well, they've all been members of the exclusive all-male Bohemian Club in California, where every year at this time, the elite from around the country get together for two and a half weeks of uh, fun and games. Steve Shepard has this special assignment report. More than 2,000 members of San Francisco's exclusive and all-male Bohemian Club have once again descended on Northern California. These men will spend most of the month of July encamped on some 2,700 acres of pristine and privately owned redwood forest. Forest very much like this. The place is called Bohemian Grove, and it's located just 80 miles north of San Francisco. The Grove is the Bohemian Club's summer retreat, and its facilities are hidden beneath lush forest canopy extending south from the banks of Sonoma County's Russian River. For more than a century, the camp has been a place where club members and guests from all across America gather to relax. The retreat is divided into dozens of small camps, the most prominent of which is called Mandalay. Among its members are businessmen like Leonard Firestone and Edgar Kaiser, and political figures like Gerald Ford, Henry Kissinger, William French Smith, and George Shultz. President Reagan, Vice President Bush, and Defense Secretary Weinberger are members of other camps. Richard Nixon is a Bohemian, and so are high-ranking executives of such companies as Eastern Airlines, Standard Oil of Indiana, and Bank of America. For the most part, the men of Bohemian Grove are over 50, highly successful, and, according to many employees, politically conservative. Well, each year, uh, many of them seem to have a stunt, uh, or try to come up with a stunt. Last year, 1980, uh, the popular button was uh, free the Fortune 500. Membership in the Grove is by invitation only and is determined by such factors as social standing, occupation, and personal connections. Privacy is one of the Grove's most cherished virtues. Members may not photograph, record, speak, or write about activities at the retreat. While many public officials are Grove members, the press is a distinctly unwelcome guest. We're from ABC News. Well, get back there. Get back there. Can we talk to somebody in there? Get back there. Anyone willing to navigate a boat up the Russian River can get a glimpse of the northern edge of the compound, but that's about all. Still, there are outsiders who have researched the Grove. Sociology professor William Dumhoff found out enough to write a book on the place. Well, I think it's a playground for the powerful. It's a place where uh, wealthy men from all of the United States gather for two weeks to uh, relive summer camp with this ceremony called the Cremation of Care that uh, begins the, uh, the uh, two-week encampment where the body of dull care symbolizing woes and concerns is burned on an altar in front of a big owl statue. 
When that ceremony ends, they all start to cheer and yell and hand each other a beer. And... Other regular activities include the production of two plays, one of which involves major sets, orchestral music, and extravagant costumes. The other play appears to be just a bit on the lighter side, at least judging from these old photos. Members also spend time swimming, hiking, relaxing in the sun, and doing a bit of drinking from the Grove's own privately labeled spirits. Like a boys' camp, the Grove has a symbol, in this case, a somewhat fierce-looking owl. It also has a patron saint, St. John of Nepomuk, a legitimate 13th-century Bohemian canonized for his sense of honor. What the Grove does not have is any women, not even as employees. Despite its camp-like atmosphere, the Grove does host some serious business. To the degree that there's anything important happens at the Bohemian Grove, it's political. The important speeches that have been made by, at the Bohemian Grove have been made, for instance, and the best example, by Richard Nixon. Eisenhower gave a speech there. It was the first time the uh, West Coast establishment really saw him close up. Discussions at the Grove in the 1930s helped lead to the development of nuclear power and the atomic bomb. It was at the Grove in 1967 that Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan hashed out differences over their presidential ambitions. Each year, guests like Henry Kissinger or Spignu Brzezinski address members on their areas of expertise. Presidential counselor Edwin Meese will be among this year's speakers. And each year, other guests come to the Grove simply to enjoy themselves. This year, CIA Director William Casey is a scheduled guest of John McCone, former CIA director. Baseball Commissioner Bowie Kuhn has been invited as a guest of baseball owner Peter O'Malley. Despite the presence of so many notables, the Grove is not without its small headaches. Anti-nuclear demonstrators gathered near the entrance to the retreat this year to wave signs and chant slogans. The Grove is also facing a suit from the state of California because it refuses to hire women. Still, the Bohemian Grove seems in no danger of passing. Herbert Hoover called it the world's greatest men's party, and there is a list of powerful people waiting to get in on it. Steve Shepard, ABC News, San Francisco. And they interviewed people at the Bohemian Grove. They interviewed this one white dude. You could tell that dude was a faggot, man. And, that's, and, and the Bohemian Grove was being sued because they weren't allowing women in there. It was an all-men retreat. And they were being sued. So now they allow women in certain capacities at the Grove. But the point is, at one time, the Bohemian Grove was conspiracy theory. Now it's a fact. Yeah, because somebody leaked it out. Like Joe Valachi leaked to the press about the mafia. Yeah. Okay. And then you had this guy, um, Nixon. He said that the Bohemian Grove was the most goddamn, this is his quote, the most goddamn faggiest thing I ever saw. All right, that's what Nixon said. Yeah, so these prophecies, um, you know, are coming to pass, man. It tells you in the Apocrypha, if anybody want to get it, they can bring it out, be, be occupied in prophecy, but read a couple of verses above that, all right? Because now we're, these prophecies are taking place. Head, head back hook two. These prophecies are coming to pass. Okay? All right, go ahead and bring it on out. Okay, this is from the book of Daniel 2, 20 to 20. You're going to find out that the number one group out there is GMS. We're not saying it to brag or boast. Okay. All right? Yeah. And we're at a point now where these other inferior camps, they're trying to get see what they can get out of us. Because we have the oil and they don't have the oil. All they're basically doing... As they're, they're, all they're doing is being mockingbirds of what they learned from. Uh, they got good memories. They learned what they learned from uh, One West. God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The Lord said He would feed His His elect with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's pursuant to Jeremiah three and fifteen. So all we're doing is fulfilling hey, prophecy. Well, hey, there's this commercial of this lawn lawn thing with this Irish guy, and he says, "Feed your lawn, right. feed it." <laughs> Right, right. Hey, but he does, he says it with right, you know with convictions. So you gotta if you want your 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 crops to grow, your grass to grow, you gotta feed it. Yeah. So we're feeding you. Yeah. All you gotta do is take it. You yeah. gotta you gotta di and you gotta digest it. Yeah, you can't eat it and spit it out. Yep. You gotta eat it and digest it, man. Yep. And that's how you get your nutrients and your your vital nutrients and so forth. Your minerals, you know. Yep. Your 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 um. You know, all, all the things that you need for the body That's to right. keep the body going. All right. That's right. If there's cer there's certain foods, if you don't eat, you can go blind, man. Yeah. You yeah. can get a heart attack. Right. You know, there's certain foods and certain combination of foods 
and, and herbs, because the scriptures speak about herbs and so forth, mm-hmm. all right, mm-hmm. that you must take into your body and you must digest it. You don't, you don't taste it. You must digest it. Yeah. That's, that's when the food works. That's when it converts into these vital nutrients and um, minerals mm-hmm. and, 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 and everything good for your body. So, you know, when you, when you want to fill your spirit, you got to go to the scriptures. That's right. But you have to have teachers to teach you. Break it down. Not all these guys are teachers, man. They might say that they're teachers. Right. Just because you say you're a teacher don't mean you're a teacher, man. Right. You know? Right. We are the real teachers, man. And like I said, I'm not saying it to brag and boast. I'm saying it because it's a fact. It's not a conspiracy, man. It's a fact. Okay? <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you see it every day. That's right. This is the book of uh, right. Proverbs 25 and 16. I'm going to say this. Now, a lot of these guys, I don't know for sure. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm almost positive. Don't be watching on them. You young guys, don't be watching them GMS videos because they'll corrupt you. Well, you know what I told our, our guys coming up? I said, watch all them videos, man. You can watch all the Illuminati videos, conspiratory. You can watch Alex Jones. You can, you can watch uh, 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 Nate. You can watch, uh, uh, um, uh, um, damn, House of David. You can watch uh, Yusuf. You can watch whatever you want. Because through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we gave you the knowledge and gave you, and through, the, through that you built a filter up to know what's bullshit and what's not bullshit, all right? <laughs> and we encourage that, okay? Uh, this is Proverbs 25. By the way, that's not an Illuminati sign. It's, it's oh, that's a gang sign. That's just my hand go, going like that, okay? Uh, Proverbs 25, 16. Has thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomited. It is not good. Well, that's what happened with Mike. Yep. Because yep. Mike was so into it that he started writing books, which he said that we made him write, write these books, which we didn't do that, but let's say we did. So, so what? If we tell you to do something, you're under us, man. Scripture said, obey them to have the rule over you, man. So, I mean, if we told you to write it, and that's the order. That's the order. That's why you came into the camp, man. I mean, if you had a problem like that, you could have did set up your own camp and did it, did it on your own, man. There's people that do that every day. Anyway, he got all this information, and it, and it, and it stopped up his system, so he vomited back out. And who did he run to? He run to the least guy out there, Baloo. Okay? And this guy don't know the scriptures. Show me one video where this guy actually goes into prophecy, man. There's not one. It's not one. Not one. Oh, oh right now, and I got the video clip, and I'm not, I don't even have to show it. The the, the uh, producer, you might want to put it up if you want. Down there in Venezuela, there, there was like almost 20 people dead. If not 20, close to 20. I think it was 13, actually. They're rioting like mad down there. Now, what's happening is they they can't get food. They can't get milk. They can't get they can't get a uh, 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 flour. They can't get oil. And those are the bare necessities. That's why they're rioting, man. So you're not doing it up here in the U.S., but you will be doing it when your back is to the wall because there's several uh, parents out there with young babies that need to get fed, and they have to get fed themselves. The parents got to feed themselves to stay alive. Now, let's say you go to the supermarket, and there's nothing in there. And then you go to the authorities, you call the cops or whatever, and they don't give you no answer. What answers? What are you going to do? You're going to go to rioting, man. See, people in the U.S. they think that it's going to be like this way forever, man. The, the the examples that you use are the situation out there in Greece, in Egypt. All right, that's been a a, a hotbed. What since 2010, if I'm not mistaken, you got this situation down there in Venezuela. You got this uh, Syrian the situation down there in Syria. You got the situation down there in Ukraine. Afghanistan. So I mean eventually it's going it's going to come right over here. Yep. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back to that. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, there's an old saying, a, a hungry man is an angry man. So, you know, when you're hungry and your belly is rumbling, you know, <laughs> you're going to lose it. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it right there. My name is Daniel Bush. Why is the U.S. government preparing for civil war coming up? 
Large sections of the U.S. prepare for armed revolution. Hollow points of the DHS. And that virus on your computer. The Army now links to systematic covert operations on anyone who criticizes multinationals.